Meanwhile, pharmacists are walking off the job at Walgreens stores nationwide. They say they're seeing increasingly unsafe work conditions. This comes just weeks after similar protests by CVS workers. NBC's Stephanie Gosk reports. At multiple Walgreens stores nationwide, pharmacists walking off the job. Not for higher pay, they say, but for health and safety reasons. We're so busy running ourselves ragged. It's like a marathon. And seeing, you know, customer safety be at risk as well as our own. Tammy, who asked us not to use her full name, works as a pharmacist technician at a busy Walgreens in Minnesota. She says she joined at least 10 of her colleagues who did not report for work on Monday. It's very scary and we're actually getting to the point where it looks like we, I don't know like how much farther we can push ourselves. In addition to filling and verifying prescriptions, Tammy and other Walgreens employees say pharmacists and support staff are also managing a high volume of calls, working with insurance companies and administering a growing number of vaccines. In a statement, Walgreens acknowledges that the last few years have required an unprecedented effort from our team members and that it has been a very challenging time. The second largest retail pharmacy also says it's engaged and listening to the concerns raised by some of its team members and is committed to ensuring that the entire pharmacy team has the support and resources necessary. Last month, CVS pharmacy customers in Kansas City were impacted when workers there also walked off the job to protest over similar staffing concerns. They understand the risks that are being posed to the community that, with these uh, demands on them, so they don't want to make a mistake. According to USA Today, CVS corporate staff flew to Kansas City to meet with organizers and agreed to improve working conditions and patient safety. I don't think a lot of customers understand that we are trying to do our best for them. Walgreens organizers say they don't want to disrupt patient care, but need to take a stand, a sentiment some customers can appreciate. You know, I support workers' rights, and, you know, a little inconvenience for me is worth it. This is Stephanie Gosk reporting once again. Walgreens, by the way, says only a small number of pharmacies are seeing disruptions. Nearly all of its 9,000 locations continue to serve customers.